What's up people welcome back to a tech load so today we are back with a video where we're gonna build a digital clock application with a flip animation for it for the devices that are right now with flutter itself so here we won't be using any plugins out there which are on pop.dev we will doing it from scratch itself so without wasting time let's go ahead okay hold on i have seen my community that you guys are watching my videos frequently on youtube but there none of them are subscribing to it i don't know why so i think so my content is right now available on YouTube as well as Instagram, Facebook and on Medium itself. So please go ahead and subscribe on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook as well as on Medium. Yeah, now let's get started. So let me show you how the application will look like in future. Uh, basically, this will be the application okay so this is in horizontal mode with 24 hours clock uh, let's say when I press on this it will be sent to vertical with 12 hour format okay so this rotation you have to manage and with all the things we have to manage so in first part of video we will be going to build this 24 hour for, uh, sorry uh, this flip application first of all uh, in my format it is going from bottom to top you can make it from top to bottom your choice okay so without wasting any of the time let's go ahead and build this out quickly okay starting with the first let me show you how the app uh, sorry the flip animation will be looking like this means uh, what we need to place inside the code and how it will be structured so basically we will have a container okay then inside that we will be having a stack so uh, it will look like this that container a will have some data that is past data okay just like let's say if it's uh, right now 12 seconds and in future it will be 13 seconds so 12 second half will be displayed here and half will be displayed here okay now this flip animation this means this place that is this is the animation container which is gradually change its dimension as per the angle okay so this will contain the latest one that is 13 second half year and 13 second half year okay so when it flips from this part bottom part okay 12 will be displayed sorry uh, 12 half 12 will be displayed here okay Half will be displayed here 13 will be displayed here means the future this is the future let me tell you mm, this one is the future okay and this one is the past one means uh, here we will have 12 half okay and here we will have 13 half okay because this is this is what past this shows past second okay and this shows future second which is incoming okay now let me tell you uh, this stage this one this one will have this one will have the animation of the 12 half means let's say here it's 12 and here it will be 12 okay here it will be 12 like like this okay uh, sorry for the drawing and here it will be like this yeah okay uh, let me do it back so that I can show you perfectly uh, somewhat like this okay sorry yeah perfect okay it will be like this when this uh, animation it will go to the upward side to this side okay we will have half 13 okay we will have half 13 here and half 13 is placed already placed here okay so let's say it will be looking like this half three and one okay and when it when this page when this page will go at this section the state will be refreshed and it will be one and three half okay so this is this one is the 13 first half and this one is the 13 second half okay so total it will be shown as 13 okay it means 12 gone 13 is upcoming so uh, from my point of view it is going from bottom to top in your perspective if you want you can make it from bottom to uh, sorry top to bottom your choice okay so we are done with this if you want to take a screenshot you can place it out no problem i will be placing this figma screenshot uh, in the description as well as well as so let's get back to the code okay i will be explaining uh, from line wise you need first container okay then inside that we will have a stack uh, two containers one upper container one bottom container okay then on top of it we will have an animation which will flip which will be flipping from this point of view to the this point of view okay i think so 
I have cleared the mess out. Uh, sorry for my drawing, guys. It's not that much good enough, but I have tried my level best. Okay, so yeah, let's get ahead. Uh, removing all these uh, comments, you can use a plugin. Uh, but right now, I haven't installed the plugin on this one. So what I will be doing is I will be removing all these things right now because I don't require this things. All done. All things. Let me do it, guys. Give me a second. Yep. Remove. Okay. So we will be returning a scaffold. Okay. Yeah, the title is home page. Okay, okay. All done. done, done. Okay. I don't want this. Yep. Done. Let's have a body. No app bar. Uh, let's have a container. First of all, as I said, uh, we will be building the flip animation, then we will be moving to the clock logic. Okay, so let's first build the okay, let's uh, text. Sorry for the keyboard uh, noise, guys. Um, flip animation. Yep, we'll say saving done. Okay, so the next part we are going to be doing as we will be making a stack okay the container we will have a stack okay uh, inside the stack we are going to make two columns okay uh, sorry uh, a column of containers so let's remove this thing here from this point of view and have a stack okay stack then we will have a children uh, okay children will have now let me tell you first of all uh, we will have a column okay first thing okay uh, this column will contain this column will contain two children's Two child, two child, as I have already shown you, two child that will be two containers. Okay, two containers. This one, a stack, a column with two children, with one children, second children. This two will be container. First container, A container, B container. Okay, then upper on this in inside the stack means this is the first stack and this is the second stack. This two is the second stack. Okay, this two is second stack, and this one is first stack. Sorry for my trying guys, I'm messing with these things. Let me clear this of all the things so that you can understand it properly. Okay. Yeah. So this is the first stack. Let me tell you. This is the first stack. This is the first stack and this is the second stack. In first stack, we will have one column which contains two children, A container, B container. And in the second stack, means inside the second stack, that is a child, uh, second, uh, second children of the stack. Okay. Uh, in, in that, it will be having a flip animation so let me explain you okay uh, okay we have a stack then we will make column yeah we will have a children okay uh, the children will have a container pardon uh, container okay let me tell you the container height will be 99 and width will be around somewhat around 200 because uh, let me tell you this is an uh, square okay uh, sorry for this drawing i have made a rectangle but this is a square uh, 200 height and 200 width. Okay, this all includes 200 height. Uh, keeping a 4 4.0 space or 2.0 as as usually what you whatever you want. So this half is 900. Uh, I have kept a uh, spacing if spacing of two. Let me tell you, this is a spacing of uh, 2.2.0 spacing. Okay, this is 2.0 spacing. And if I say uh, so, the total overall okay will be around. 200 by 200 okay so half is here half hundred and half hundred okay so let me tell you 100 this one sorry 99 because uh, 2.0 is here okay and uh, 99 here 99 here okay got it 90 and this one 90 and this one so let's create it which will be as I say 200 uh, okay Okay, let's create the container first so that we can have the things color let's say this color will be red just for time sake and we'll copy this container right here and let me tell you this is the uh, first half first half container a and this will be second half container B. Getting my point? So these are the things. Uh, let me make it at this one as 
blue so that uh, there's no confusion between these points blue okay yeah done so these are 200 200 height 200 width everything 100 100 uh, okay so now if we check this point we have a divider okay we will place a divider or size box whatever you think uh, to make uh, a balance of 2.0 okay balance of 2.0 distance between clock okay so let's have a divider by the time sorry divider height will be 2 let's say color will be colors or transparent because i want to make it transparent yeah done now okay now container a is ready container b is ready okay this is the first children okay now uh, beneath this we will have second stack child that is animation part okay uh, okay let me tell you uh, when you're working with animation you need to understand what is going on and what will be the next part and what will be the stages okay so let's say if you are done with this okay we have completed this section totally out uh, next next thing what we need to do is we need to work with the uh, animation builder okay let's say uh, we have done the container part we have done the two stack sorry two st stack will be having a two children everything has been done now let me tell you uh, this part okay this part won't have that thing okay uh, when the bottom section flips like this if uh, I don't know how to design it from this point uh, the bottom section will be flipping from bottom to top which I have made okay you can just change change out the code itself only so what I will be doing is I will be uh, placing a stack on this top okay on this one because uh, the section will be flipping from bottom to top okay so let's say um, wrap this widget with a sorry let's wrap the widget with column then we will replacing it out as stack okay yeah done so uh, okay this is done now we will what we'll be doing it as uh, we will be having an animation builder okay an animation builder will help us to uh, animate from bottom point to top point if you want from top to bottom you can place this uh, container I mean animation animated builder from bottom to top from uh, in, in this in this part okay first half so animated I know animated builder yep done then next animation uh, will have something but let's create builder first okay now as, as usual we all know that builder will contain something somewhat around so let's uh, uh, add on that we will have a context comma child okay and we have returned something what will be what will be returning out as that it will be transform something okay so let's say uh, it will be transforming okay by the time i'm keeping this right now as usual uh, after we'll be doing this out keep, let's keep this apart huh. first of all uh, before animation before animation we need something okay before animation we need something that is this part the half 12 and the half 12 year okay because 13 is the this, this is the future 13 half okay half 12 here and half 12 here okay i have not written it well second second half okay so uh, let's create a child the child will contain the same as usual whatever we have made at the top section okay but this won't be having any divider between it okay so this height will be 100 and width will be 200 okay okay all done now let's color this thing out first of all because we don't want any confusion colors dot yellow okay mm, uh, let's create an animation first of all okay so animation mm, here we will be okay sorry uh, just placing out so that you can understand okay yeah animation animation done so i think so it will be connected if i place this here yeah done okay now uh, i have been placing here okay 
let me tell you first of all thing so we have done this we have made this container sorry we have made this container we have made this container we have made this container also but not animated yet okay not animated yet we need to make this container to animate to animate from this point of view to the oh, sorry bottom to upward we need to animate this container from bottom to top if you want to animate from top to bottom you can place the stack here itself so that it will grow from this point to this point okay so we have made this container just we need to animate uh, this container from this point to upward section okay so uh, basically for animation means we need to transform we need to transform means we need to uh, make this uh, this one as uh, sorry a rectangle one to the uh, what we said it as poly uh, sorry not polygon mm, what we say is trapezium something like that uh, I don't remember about the shapes perfectly uh, um, basically this side this angle will be same this angle and this angle will be similar okay so let's create out uh, before starting with these things uh, you need to understand what is matrix and what are the things uh, how a matrix for identity works on okay so let me tell you first of all uh, what we need to do is uh, we will have an alignment because we need to align it at center itself so alignment dot center and then we will have a transform because it's compulsory it's to be there and i will be using a matrix 4 matrix 4 dot identity means uh, everywhere it's uh, 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 okay so um, i will be putting it as set entry set entry i will be placing a doc uh, in the description so that you can understand what i am working with uh, basically it's uh, provided by the uh, google developer expert i have also been following him you can also follow him so that you can understand what we are writing and what we are going with because you need to understand what is matrices and uh, what are the things going on okay so i need to rotate it by x x direction okay so let's say i will be rotating it by x direction by this value uh, just we need to provide the value basically what we will be animating is we need to give it out as uh, let's say i will be animating my child okay this one child is this this child is related to this child okay this child will be animated from this position means transform so what i'm doing is uh transform that is transform my object of the child means this child colors dot yellow okay yellow one not blue one yellow one this container animate this container from x axis to the upward section okay to the upward section got it got my point so okay mm, things are going good yep sorry okay so everything done now uh, let me do the init state basically we need to make a uh, state uh, how the animation will be started okay so first of all let me just show you out that how it will be looking as okay failed okay animation value is null okay so let's make that uh, possible we need to have an animation that yeah this will be starting at this point of view this will be starting at this point of view. so uh, where is it yeah but animation we need to have a controller to work on this okay animation controller provide a controller to this yeah. now we will be having an and it state to manage it Okay, so uh, we have made a controller so that it can control the all the things uh, whatever the animation we have and whatever we are going with so uh, in any state we will tell our controller that uh, we need to animate the animation part uh, by what angle by what things okay so instead of uh, telling you guys I will just code it out so that you can understand what things are going on okay so let's say we have a controller uh, that is defined already so it will be working with animation control part okay means providing it or what can what controllings we have okay so we will have a okay first of all we need to make this um, with with single ticker okay with single ticker maximum so basically uh, if you uh, don't understand what is single ticker provider state mixin so you need to uh, make an RNA on it you need to work on this uh, that what is it mixin uh, it just like a mixer of mixing two classes so just grab it out or just grab your internet and uh, search for the things if you don't know uh, comment it out I will be sharing I will be making a video on this if 
you don't get anything from Google. Okay, so duration. Let's have a duration of point something. Okay, uh, how much time we need to uh, animate uh, the clock means uh, from bottom to the top. How much time will it will take from this point to animate to this this and this part? Okay, so let's say I will be just giving out as millisecond of thousand. Yeah, so this point is done. Okay, so I have told my controller that yeah, you need to use uh, uh, animation of around this seconds, and now I will tell at whom it to animate it. Okay, so let's first of all tell animation is equal to how it will be animating. Okay, so twin twin animation I'm using, uh, which will have double because uh, I'm I will be using angles. So angles is always about double only because mat dot pi that is 3.13 oh, sorry 3.14 okay it's a double value so using a double uh, it will be ending to 3.14 that is I will be using mat dot pi I need to import here import math as math okay done mm, yep. math dot pi Okay, this will be ending point means 3.14. Now, uh, I need to tell him from where it has to begin. Okay, so let's say math dot pi into 2. Okay, means multiple of this. Now, um, comma, now I need to tell him that uh, um, how it has to animate, how it has to animate, and sorry, and whom it, uh, whom it has to use as in controller for this part so I will tell him that your parent is controller okay you have to use you have to work under the controller that is animation controller section now uh, we will be adding a listener to this okay so let's say animation dot add listener because we need to have a listener uh, which will uh, listen of on change what it, what, it, what it has to do okay so I will say please change the state so that uh, it will be reflected that yes uh, let's say this is has this has half 12 and this has half 13 beneath it okay and this has half 12 this is a half 12 when the half 12 will be replaced till the year after this point it will be half 13 okay when it will go here it will be here half 13 so the 12 has to be go the 12 has 12, 12 will be beneath the stack and here it will be 13 half 13 when i press the set state the timer will be changed and it will be here what will it be here 13 and here it will be changed to half 14 okay uh, um, it's quite a little bit uh, difficult to tell you guys uh, it's better that I code it out and then I will be explaining out what things are going and what things are not so let's restart this out and let things change on this part first of all mm. It's what it says that animation is null it's not true okay um, we have made in its state also superstar of the controller okay done um, what i need to do is we need to have something that uh, how much time it will be replacing or how much time it will be going on with these things so let's say okay so after restart it started working yeah so we have done this point of view okay uh, but uh, when we restart this application it goes to init state but it doesn't start the things it doesn't start the animation so uh, okay um, I haven't started the animation let's make this controller to go forward and let's restart this right now yeah okay uh, I think so I have made a mistake it's flipping on its own position uh, why this is so okay let me check on the animation builder yep animation is provided container yellow transform set entry with the value of rotate x okay 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 we got it got it the alignment is to center it will be from top center because from center it doesn't have to rotate it has to rotate from top center okay now let's see oh yes now it's done it's rotating from bottom to top okay so uh yep it's good now Mm, do we need to make any changes on this no not yet all is done so control dot forward now what do we need we have done with these things okay uh, let's say if I restart this application 
uh, it will be flipping from the bottom to the top if you want to make flip from uh, top to bottom you just need to uh, ins uh, insert the stack in the a container a i have inserted it from in in b you need to make it at a okay so uh, okay we have done this point now we need to have numbers basically uh, before adding any numbers uh, i think so logic has been done okay logic has been done and uh, yeah you can add it uh, something as your self child text whatever you want but uh, if i add any text okay let's say if i add 12 year and Mm, as this will be containing a new one okay yellow will be containing okay let me type it out this container will have future second future second okay and the other the other things okay the older one this will this past so let's say if i have this the child mm, okay let me copy this itself yep this will have 30 let me show you it won't be proper but still let me tell you how okay it has 12 it has 12 it has 13 okay so if i again do this okay if you see guys it has 13 inverted okay at first it has 13 in proper manner okay now it is inverted did you see that so we need to make a terrary operator if this section goes in between let's say till here okay till this point if it goes here the 13 will be proper in 13 will be like this okay but if it goes uh, beyond this means the middle part okay beyond this so it should the letter should be inverted okay letter should be inverted such as uh, the upper 13 okay M means from this point of view it should be uh, that is uh, half 13 and when it goes to this point this should be have a top 13 okay here it will be top 13 okay this and here it will be top sorry bottom thirteen okay so okay I think so we have done with this animation part okay now I have shown you how it will be animated and how the animation goes on so I think so this video is quite big enough means uh, the duration is uh, around half an hour so let's separate the video in the second part uh, at this at at the second part I will be showing you the logic how I have made from uh, means I have uh, mentioned that how you need to make uh, from hour and mm, 24 hour and 12 hour format okay and you, how you will be using this animation to make the uh, working out working around as well as half 13 and half 12 okay so might be it would be three parts or two parts I don't know about it but still we will be completing it out so thank you guys uh, one more thing please subscribe the channel as well as give it a thumbs up if you like the animation part itself uh, further we will be going with the uh, clock logic also and many more uh, it's future part so I don't want to share you about right now basically because uh, might be good things coming up okay in flutter so yeah so I think so we are done here uh, let's meet you in the second part thank you guys